am Terry. Hi, I'm Kita, and we're from Washington, D.C. And you're watching Fun, Fun for Louie. Boom. Good morning, guys. We, we did a lot of driving last night. It was me then. Were you driving next, Sam? Yeah. And then it handed over to JP, who killed it. Drove for like six hours straight. And, and now we're well uh, well ahead of our scheduled place, which means we can take it a bit easier the next few days. We're we're way past Mexico City. We were debating whether to stop there, but we decided not to. at the place we're staying today um, although we're actually just figuring out details on that but <clears throat> when we stopped for fuel we noticed that this back cage which I guess is for carrying bikes and stuff has broken here there's like a, a joint so the boys have been very inventive and managed to secure it with some bungee cords this ain't going anywhere <laughs> right, I so don't know I'd, if I'd put any weight on yeah, there though. Louis jump in and just see if, uh, if it's working Really? I don't know. No. Well, oh, no, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> it, will, it will hold on though. It's not going to fall off. Okay. Mexico. Good job. Does anyone know uh, anyone who can come and weld our bus for us? Hey! <laughs> no! Come on, Sam. Get in. <laughs> nearly, nearly left me out. <laughs> right. Guys, this could be a problem. I will make it. Look how windy that is. Right, I'm conducting the safety briefing before we go down this little cobblestone street. We have the big ass bus trying to get down this tiny thin little street. It gets super, super narrow down there. I don't think we're going to be able to make it. The turns just keep getting more narrow. Is that, is that a challenge? I mean, if you want, it would just mean we'll have to reverse up if we can't. Max has decided it's a good idea to do a three-point turn in this very narrow road. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. We've basically wedged ourselves. Oh no. Oh wait. <laughs> wait, we totally wedged ourselves. Yeah, you got this, bro. Keep, keep it locked. Guys, we're trying to get to this campground to park up the bus. This is the road it was trying to send us down. This is the sketchiest manoeuvre yet. We are trapped on this tiny road. For some reason, the RV park we found is down this tiny cobbled street. Bro, we're screwed. We're jogging up to have a look. It's a dead end. Okay, Google Maps hasn't been updated, so this street is... Oh my gosh. Yeah, screwed. It's a dead end. Why didn't they tell us that? This is not gonna work. As you can see, we don't have a lot of wiggle room. We've come up this street that cars are struggling to get past us. So our original plan of staying at an RV park fell through because we couldn't get to the RV park, the roads were too narrow. Thankfully, Felix, who originally owned the bus, he had some connections here and he's hooked us up with his friend who owns some very nice villas. So we're gonna, we're gonna kind of uh, recoup today and just chill. Like, yeah, chill. We, we deserve it. We've all been like hammering the driving Hola. and we're ready for a little rest. Hola. Hola. Louis. Guys, we just walked through to the pool area. Look how genius this is. Little model hot air balloons on springs. So they're just bouncing away in the breeze. Oh my gosh. Casa del Cactus. 
Wait. Wait, boys, we have our own house. We have our own house. How is this even happening right now? What? On air? No, they did not. How did they do that? No! We just spoke to them. How did you do that? No. <laughs> Boy, dude, what a welcome. Okay, so sharing there. Oh, nice, we got a little bathtub. Oh. This is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, the ceiling. This, this will make a nice change from sleeping in the bus. The boys kindly went into town. They got some tacos. I got some Thai curry, which I cannot wait to eat. It's gonna be glorious. Finished lunch. Time to jump back in the hot tub. So if any of you ever wonder where and how Louis does his editing for these vlogs, this is it right here. He only ever edits in hot tubs. Guys, right now I'm experiencing some of my favorite things. We're in a tropical climate, in a hot tub, drinking coffee, working on videos for you guys. What a dream. Cheers. I'm done with the hot tub for now. The boys have all had little naps, feeling rejuvenated, and we're ready to hit the town. I think we're just gonna catch the last of the light. It's really beautiful, this place. Check it out. decided we're gonna come down early tomorrow morning to catch the light. I don't know how early we'll make it down here, but we wanna spend some of the morning here just um, exploring a bit because the architecture and the colorful buildings are just phenomenal. It reminds me a little bit of um, when me and Dave went to Guatemala beginning of last year, very similar. That's where we're heading, sound of that bell. I've met some of my Mexican viewers. Yeah. Who'd have thought in this random Mexican town that we'd have bumped, bumped into a bunch of people? Okay. <laughs> Sam just found a hat. Yes, bro. It looks good on you, bro. It's had my name all over. It actually has your name on it. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Guacamole. Pretty Oh, it's so nice. You boys feeling good, yeah? Yeah, this is, this is the dream. This is the absolute dream of things. <laughs> Perfect temperature. We were just saying guys that we're about halfway on our trip and we couldn't have... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just relaxing, I'm really relaxed. That's that awkward moment when you're letting go while filming. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we couldn't, have, we couldn't have picked a more perfect break to have like just real chilled villa, beautiful little towns and, uh, and jacuzzi time. 
we've managed to catch up with a lot of work and now we'll just recuperate in chilling before we head off tomorrow. But uh, it's pretty cool, isn't it, lads? You loving it? It's chilled just out. Ideal situation. Chilled out, sexy, jacuzzi, Mexican vibes right now. It's pretty dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling, JP? Super chill. It's yeah. super chill. Well guys, it's almost quarter to five in the morning. We literally spent all night having uh, deep and mean meaningful conversations in the hot tub. It's pretty cool getting to know each other a bit more. Um, but yeah, didn't get much work done. And it also means that our morning plans might not happen, but I'm gonna try and get myself out of bed because this is the last kind of traditional Mexican town we're gonna to spend proper time in. We're just gonna be whizzing through. Um, we've come up with a new plan today, which is to, I mean, things might change tomorrow, but the plan at the moment is we're gonna try and drive all the way to Austin, Texas, and catch the first day of South by Southwest before we head back to LA. It's a bit of a detour. It means crossing the border into the US in a different town than we planned to. So there's a few unexpected potential things that could happen, but we're gonna give it a go, see what happens. Um, hopefully we could be in the US by this time tomorrow. So let's, uh, yeah, let's hope it all goes smoothly. There's no delays getting through the border. Um, sweet, I'm gonna get a bit of rest now, a bit of sleep um, since we've had this amazing place to stay. Um, guys, I'll link the place we've stayed in, this villa place, um, I'll link it below because this is like, incredible place if you're ever in this area to come and check out anyway i'll catch you in the morning peace out enjoy life and live the adventure boom